In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a completion date. Let's say you have a project and you're starting with, or you know the date that you're going to start and you know roughly the number of days that it's going to take to complete. And you might have a list of holidays. This is similar to other date functions where you can include a list of holidays and uh, add those to your calculation. So we'll, we'll do it both ways here. So we have our dates, start date, January 1st, 2008. We have the number of days that these projects are going to take. So the formula is work day. So all you do is click on your start date, add in the number of days that it's gonna take, and that will spit out your completion date. And so if we pull this down, this project is going to go until March 30th, 2009. And keep in mind that this is this is calculating uh, work days. This is excluding weekends. That's why 324 days takes longer than one year. Because you're only getting five days every week. If you want to be even more accurate, you'd have a list of all your holidays. And you would do the same formula work day enter in your start date the number of days then you'll also just drag through your list of holidays and this is a more accurate number we see that this will end on uh, April 2nd 2009 instead of March 30th you'd have more holidays in real life obviously but this is just an example so that is how you use the workday formula to calculate a completion date of a project.